What's going on, family? What's going on? And welcome back to another episode. Wait, my light. Is my light on properly? The light just fell off. Welcome back to another episode of Live. There we go. Welcome back to another episode of Live with Brian. It's episode 12, I believe. Episode 12. I don't know if I'm keep doing a number of things every intro because I, I just don't know. But what's happening, y'all? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Today is Monday. I know, look, a lot of us getting back into the workflow and it sucks. <laughs> Nobody want to go to work. Granted, a lot of us are at home and we work, we work in uh, remote jobs, but we don't want to go back to work. Can we all just agree? Can we all just, just uh, come to a full consensus that work is ghetto? Work at work is just ghetto. All this shit, you know, I'm gonna get me a blanket because this, this the jobs is just ghetto. I don't, I was thinking about that earlier today. I don't like the fact that I have to get up every day out of my bed, every single day out of my bed, and just go to this, this little ghetto nuisance we call a job. You know what I'm saying? To actually get up and go to work and slave myself through the doggone day to make ends meet and stuff like that. Like, like, yeah, y'all see me on TikTok doing my thing. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm, I'm on here trying to educate and, you know, doing my advocation stuff like that. But you know, I still got my consultations. I still got clients. I, I got to deal with stuff like that. And I'm here for healing people and, and making the world a better place. But some days I, you know, I'm like I said on the last, uh, the last live I did, it takes, it takes consistency and discipline. Cause some days I just be wanting to lay in my own bed and be like, I don't feel like going to work. It is ghetto. We just, just I'm, put, I'm not for the streets. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm, I'm still young, but you know what I'm saying. But welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to another episode. Before we get things started, see right here, this little meter right here. Tap the screen until you fill it up. That's all I ask. Just put me in the algorithm. That's all I ask. Uh, just keep on tapping that screen, fill it up. Boom, your job's done for the day. Um, another thing, a few house rules before we get this episode started. Do know that I only have, I don't have a lot of rules, just a few of them. Just come up in here. Let's be cool. Let's have constructive criticism, talk all that good stuff. But on the other hand, you know, don't be all bigoted and homophobic and stuff like that. Like, let's not do that. Like, we can have constructive criticism. We can have talks without bashing on each other all crazy or whatever you know the drama and i gotta moderate moderate and mediate and then block people we ain't gotta do all that but today um we're going to be doing live q a so as i'm talking y'all can ask y'all questions if y'all want to come on live i think i fixed it we're gonna we're gonna try it if one of y'all want to go live with me and have a discussion i think i fixed it um my little talk back thing wasn't working right with this mic so i couldn't really hear whenever people go live with me but i think it's fixed now we could try it out that's all up to y'all if y'all want to I like going on live with people anyway, so just hit the little multi-guest button. It should be down here for y'all, somewhere down here. Hit that button, and then it's going to have like a request or whatever. It should pop up on my screen, and then I'll go accept it and blah, 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 blah. But let's think, let, let's get things started. Monkey pox. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Now, I'm one of those people that firmly believe that I'm not saying this stuff ain't real. I'm not saying stuff not happening. But I'm, I'm a firm believer that they are just putting things constantly in people's faces every single day oh y'all ain't scared of uh uh mr 19 no more here's monkey pox oh y'all ain't scared of monkey pox here's the heat waves and people passing away from via heat waves and i'm like i said i'm not saying it's not happening but y'all ever took the time to just get off of social media or just to not pay attention to it and look at your immediate surroundings and be like we're not saying it's not happening but here's what's going on in my neighborhood. Here's what's going on around me. And then as a collective, we come together and report those things or post those things. Or even look at each other's storylines. You know everybody likes to post their business anyway. So look at each other's storylines and be like, oh, it's not happening everywhere, everywhere. It's only happening over there. So maybe y'all need to contain that foolishness. You ever think about a thing like that sometimes? It's just me just thinking out loud. But it's just interesting. These, these monkey pox and stuff they got going on. But I'll say this. Just like uh, I did the last time, because I want I want y'all to be safe. You know, and all, I know I'll be joking a lot, but uh, this is me being serious. I want y'all to be safe. So in all severity, um, just like we did whenever the first strand of uh, Mr. 19 came out and all other variants and stuff like that, it is imperative that y'all detox. Everybody that was still coming to my workout classes, that was still coming out to the park, that was still, you know, doing the elderberry recipes that I made for them and stuff like that, that was still doing my 10 day, my seven day detoxes, no body i'm talking about no body like got the vid nope nobody was i was going on uh what's going on my ball nobody was nobody was out here like really it, like if they was in my classes and if they was doing my detox and stuff like that nobody got sick or if they would get it they would get it for like a few days and they'll be they'll shake back like as if nothing happened so 
I would implore y'all. I would highly implore y'all. Go to Coach Brian. Before we get this thing uh, started and going even deeper, go to CoachBrian.com. I hit the link in my bio and go get my detox just so y'all can have it. It's a PDF. It's instructional step-by-step. It shows you what to mix, how to mix, what to eat, how to eat it, all that type of stuff. And it will get you where you need to be. I promise you. So just... I'll say that, you know, I, I'd be remiss if I was out here being like holistic health and herbs and fruit juices and yeah, and then all my clients sick or everybody that comes to me for help doesn't get healed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm giving y'all what works. But um, somebody just said, brother, if you look at the history of man in the old days, people used to die all kinds of diseases. I, I know. I know. And, and is and look, I'm not saying going back to what I was saying earlier, I'm not saying like like I said before, I'm not saying stuff is not happening. I'm not saying we're not going through nothing, but it's just interesting. It's interesting, like when you look at the majority and then you look at everything else that's going on and how it sporadically happens are like it's 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 one of two things. Either they're either we purposely are not seeing what's constantly like we're not really getting things in real time and we're not getting really exposed to what's really being out there. Or are they just picking and choosing? You know, it's one. It has to be one of the two because we can't go from like, yeah, think about the last what we've been. We've been going through quarantine and all of this for like, what, two years now, I want to say two, three years. And like everything just has been it's been going back to back to back. This outbreak, then this spread, then these numbers came, then this happened, then this happened. Now this happening. We have yet to have like at least a good year. Y'all could prime example. Y'all remember on Twitter? I don't know how many of y'all like with the disaster calendar and stuff like that. But like on Twitter, they had like every every month. Like it was a, first of all, it was a, it was a 12 month calendar. It was like every month had like what big thing happened. And it was the quarantines. Then it was the presidency. Then it was this, that, and the third. And then it got so bad when it swung back around year two with it. It was like every week we had something. Every week there was like an event that happened on the, on the, the event Twitter calendar thing or whatever. So it's like we have, we have, it's just been getting like thrusted at us day by day, week by week, month by month, you know? So it's just, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's, it's just crazy at this point. What somebody said, what's good coach? What's going on? My, my dude, what do you recommend for alopecia? So when it comes down to alopecia, you have to focus on the liver, the liver. Cause to, it's just out. It's acid in my, here's my personal ideology of it, because there's two ways you could think about it. You could think about alopecia as them targeting strictly on the scalp and then the bloodstream and all that type of stuff. But my holistic standpoint on it is that the, fi- the, li- the liver isn't filtrating things properly. And I'm going to break that down holistically in one, two ways. I'm going to talk about the physical way and the spiritual way. So the physical way is that things in your liver are not being broken down properly in the circulation because hair growth, whether it be regenerative or uh degenerative um it all it's all based on blood circulation and things of that nature do you have like do you have uh mucus ducts being blocked up up there do you have enough circulation going up there you know or is your blood too acidic are the things are the medication that you're on too acidic and it's tearing up your lymphatic system because your lymphatic vessels travel from the top of your head to the soles of your feet same thing as your cardiovascular system and your neurological system so if all of that's uh acidic if all of that has gunk and garbage in it and it's going up there and that circulation is going crazy then guess what your hair is going to fall out it's going to be really really sensitive so I would say target the liver, a lot of milk thistle, a lot of dandelion root. Um, if you're a guy, a lot of salt, salt, palmetto too, to balance out those hot herbs. Um, you can do, uh, you can get some tea tree oil, mix that with some peppermint oil and mix that with some grapeseed oil. And I'm talking about equal parts and just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. And like, just do little dabs here and there you know make sure you get your hair nice and steamed up too but you really should go on a blood cleanse a lot of capero a lot of um a lot of chlorophyll if you even into that a lot of fruit juices cold pressed fruit juices day by day fast like get you like a good 10 day fast and then like get all that gunk up out your system i had like one one client that had alopecia and my grandmother doesn't have have it um but she you know she's older and she's trying to get her hair back and stuff like that and like a lot of her medications caused that, but I'll put her on milk thistle and then I put her on bilberry and stuff like that. Her hair started coming back, you know, her diabetes reverse and stuff like that. So it's oftentimes it has to do with the liver and pancreas and the circulation that's going up to the scalp that causes things of that nature. But try messing with your diet, try flipping things around, try rehydrating yourself on a cellular level instead of on a physical level and try making sure that you're getting the right nutrients that you need to. Now, spiritually, I'll say this, a lot of people that, and it does, does not go for you. This does not go for every single body. But spiritually, according to the spiritual studies, people that suffer with stuff like that, 
they have some ways on them. You know, there's some very evil people and spiteful people. So I'm not saying this is you, but in this, and if this is in fact not you, you must very, very much so just stay balanced spiritually. You know, make sure that you're cleansing out anything that's trying to grab a hold on you. Make sure that you're strengthening yourself because it's twofold. You know, as as above, so below, as inside, so outside, all those type of things. You know, so make sure that you're taking the time to cleanse yourself on a spiritual and physical level. But that's my what's going on, my love. That's um. That's my take on alopecia and some alleviations for it because at the end of oh and oh ooh, how can I forget about this herb horsetail um horsetail root I believe it is you can make a tea horsetail tea you can make a a, a tea with that and I'll get some I'll get some crazy body in your uh it's crazy volume in your hair why do they say that fast and break muscles I don't know that's that's my first time hearing that I don't I, so. And okay, so to me, whenever it comes down to like fasting and maintaining muscle, right? I remember I went on a, it was about 12, it was eight to 12 day fast. And Matt, no matter of fact, no, let me go even recently. I did like a week of like only grapes. I ate like two to three pounds of grapes a day. And then like, even on the last few days of my fast, I didn't even eat. I don't think I ate for like two days towards the end of my fast. And I kept my muscle, you know, I had muscle retention. It didn't break my stuff down. I was still, I wasn't working out as intensely. I wasn't lifting as much weight as I normally live because I mean, I'm rolling off of grapes. You know what I'm saying? I can't go in there going crazy because my body's going through a hard detox, but it's hard for me to not work out. That's just me. It's, it's in my system. So like I kept my muscle. And then when I started, uh, going back on my other, my, my diet or like my surplus again, my weight came back on and my muscles were still there. You know, I went check, I have a um, rimfo scale. So my muscle mass was the same. My body fat, of course, was had dropped, had plummeted, but, um, my muscle mass was the same. And then like, not even a week later, it had like, I got like 5% increase. I want to say, so I don't know about the whole fasting and breaking muscle. Now, now if you fast and like, for months and months and months and years and years on end and you're not coupling that with working out and like at least taking herbs to re-electrify your body then of course you're going to lose muscle you're going to lose mass and you may not be as big as somebody who who can eat physical when i say physical but like really really eat and work out and stuff like that because it's a different type of digestive process but you know i feel as i feel as though fasting shouldn't really alter or ultimately result in uh you losing muscle or breaking muscle i feel like fasting is a form of detoxification and rejuvenation so yeah, to each his own with that, but that's just my personal belief on that. I do sixteen hours of fasting daily. What can I ask you? Why can I ask you why? Because I'm one of those people to where it's like, to to me, intermittent fasting. I'm not gonna say it doesn't work, but it's not it's not true fasting because you shouldn't be eating throughout the day. You shouldn't be like you you should have your biggest meal or dinner or whatever at noon and plummet down throughout the day you shouldn't be every single hour stuffing something in your face and i'm guilty of it because like especially when i'm I'm in a bulk it's like i eat a lot but at the same time i still portion my food out and i space it out to where i'm not chugging throughout the day you know in the morning it's my biggest detoxification process you know i start my day off with a lot of fiber uh, noon is whenever I, I'm I'm like nutritionally and calorically dense and then dinner depending on the type of day I had the type of workout I had I might eat heavy again but like I really don't eat a lot like that you know so to say that somebody is like um somebody that's how can I put it somebody that's doing intermediate fasting like that I'm not saying it doesn't work but you would reap the real benefits of the stem cell production and the cleansing of the cellular system and the lymphatic waste and things like that on a longer period, like a 24, like eat one day, don't eat the next day, eat one day. You see what I'm saying? You'll benefit more like that. Or you can go to mono fasting because it, it depends on what type of fasting you want to do too. You know, some people fast, they do absolutes to where they're not eating anything and they're just drinking stuff, you know? And then that, that's another thing too. You can sustain yourself on, on just fruit juices alone let's say 10 20 days you know what i'm saying like you can still and you you're not going to really go hungry because the nutrients and stuff like that your body's going to get used to it, it's going to absorb it on a cellular level and you'll be fine as opposed to somebody who's just not eating anything and then dry because we call that dry fasting so dry fasting can be actually dangerous for people that are really acidic in nature they are they didn't really prep for it you know and then like they're just doing it just to do it now in some extreme cases you know when some people are really sick and they just like prime example when you get really 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 sick and the only thing you can probably stomach is a soup most people just don't eat or they eat like maybe one little soup a day or something like that they lose weight and blah 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 and then they shake back and they're like oh my god you lost weight you look good blah blah, blah. yeah your body cleanses out that's why you can't really eat when you're sick so people take the benefits that you get from 
that exact moment you know and then like you kind of go with that fasting you say you see what i'm saying like it, it's like is if you really want the real benefits it depends on why you're fasting if you really want the real benefits day on day off or multiple days at a time or try mono fasting or wet fasting because to each his own but you know stuff like that i implore you for it because that's discipline i used to do that. that that's like a lot of discipline but at the same time you're 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 going in one of the most natural routines and disciplines that you can do for the betterment of your digestive system so kudos to you my dude uh hey bro if y'all see me put my hands like this it's because them them letters like i don't know i can't see that i can but i can't and y'all not as close as y'all think y'all are. y'all really far my phone's really far over there hey bro do we really need to be 100 percent vegan uh of the time in your opinions okay so i, I talked about this an episode or two ago on my last on my last few podcasts because i'm in a place right now to where I chose not to be biased, right? Well, I chose not to be extremist because I was one of those people who were preparing and was trying to become a fruitarian. And and nothing's wrong if like you know, I'm not I'm not bashing fruitarians or nothing like that. But I throughout all of the people I've studied under, throughout all of the the knowledge that I've studied and the things I've been, I've been through, I'm noticing that on both sides cuz I there was like the last book I read, they had a great section in it about animal proteins versus plant pro- protein types people and there was a it's a great divide but people were healing on both sides now people i will say this you don't have to 100 percent be vegan but i would i one thing I, I one commonality i find in all of the diets whether they eat meat or not is that people who have a higher level of fruit intake let's say they're um uh 60 40 on up so 60 40 70 30 80 20 90 10 you know those people that yield to more fruit size of their diet than whatever else they're eating they're the healthier people they're the people that tend to have less chronic illnesses they have better regenerative processes they're more cognitive they live longer their lymphatic system flows better their digestive system absorbs on another level so i will say a high fruit volume diet will help but to be 100 percent vegan and and still and and not well and and to to say that we have to heal well we have to be 100 percent vegan to heal i don't believe in that anymore i used to you know i was that extremist type of person to where it's like okay well you know all you gotta get rid of all meats and blah 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 but it's like mm, especially like people i think about people that that just don't want to because people have been eating a certain type of way for 20 30 40 50 plus years so instead of like even just imagine how hard it is for somebody that's in their 40s that's been eating meat their whole life to just completely give it up. And it's like, well, if you don't give it up, you can't heal. You can't get rid of the cancer. You can't really get this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. I don't wholeheartedly believe in that because our ancestors, even though the quality of food was better, our ancestors, they was kind of being introduced to some of these diseases too early on when they first started coming here because of the change of diet. But at the same time, they alleviated themselves. They healed themselves based on the herbs, you know, based on certain uh, remedies and properties that they use. So I would say more so... People, instead of being, you can go 100% vegan if you want to, but just make sure it's plant-based, make sure it's sourced organically and try to get it straight from garden to table. You know, go look up forest regeneration and stuff like that. It'll make more sense as to why the process and fast food industry is more so tearing us up than meat in general you know what i'm saying like i used to be big on uh eating lamb because i thought it was a cleaner meat but in the more research i found out if the reason why it isn't is because it's a lot of fat inside of it even if it's lean or whatever just the type of the type of the the, the carbon no not the carbon constituents what it is the um the amino acid chains that the that lambs use to uh to build muscle within their body and based off of their diet too, they store fat differently. So it sits inside of the meat differently. So it targets the liver a lot faster. A lot of the problems that we have, even though I do say charge up the lymphatic system, even though I do say do the 10 day detox and the seven day detox, clean your liver. Because the faster you clean out your liver, the better you clean out your liver, the more your body is able to process, heal, store energy, release energy, and release things throughout the body that's going to heal you and help you. So I wouldn't say, once again, I wouldn't say that you have to go vegan to heal, but you should source better. You should incorporate herbs inside of your diet. You should incorporate supplements inside of your diet if need be. I don't like that we're living in a day and age and like it's obvious that the soil is not the same. The nutrients are not the same. The agriculture is not the same. We're, the ground isn't yielding as much vitamins and nutrients out here than it is in other areas, especially in America, because we're going we're growing further and further away from our tradi- our actual traditions. And, you know, people are like, well, I'm going to go all natural and I, well, I'm going to go all plant based and blah, 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 blah. And I'm not going to need any supplements. And this, that and the third is like most people don't even know how to do it properly. So, yes, get your supplements in because you're probably lacking in some area until you get a true balance or until you and then, and then get 
get to a point to where like especially with blood work too like get like now nah, don't let them be taking all your blood because it takes like six months for your blood to really like heal itself and regenerate so get like the smallest um valve you can use don't don't let them take all your blood like that but like once a year you know like once a year or once uh every year and a half like get your blood work done and then see where your vitamin and minerals uh your levels are at like your hemoglobins and all that type of stuff so you can go back and trace your diet back to what you're doing to make sure because just because we eating something and i'm saying just use the technology that we have available is what i'm saying because just because we're eating a certain type of way and we may get that that endothermic and the ectothermic reaction you know like the first few months that doesn't mean we're gonna we're not gonna hit a state of crashing we're not gonna hit a state of like okay i've used up all my reserve and i I'm not all of a sudden i'm eating wrong my body feels weird i get sick you know because most people don't know if you ch especially if you're changing your diet to that extreme like you need to flush you need to flush because now you're expect you're going you're going from giving your body junk 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 or improper balances neutral uh nutritionally uh what's the word I'm looking for nutritionally starve uh foods and then you're trying to go into something that's high and all of this that and the third but it takes a different process to digest I mean you're going to get benefits don't get me wrong but you still missed out on the flushing reason why I tell people go do my seven to ten day detox go to coachbrian.com I hit the link in my bio and go get the detox and flush. You have to flush like you have to do it. I tell people once a month, once every other month, like at least four times a year, like get the flush going, because if you're not doing it, then what? You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to you got to get your body flying through because we're not living in. You ever notice how back then, like the 60s and the 70s, people was eating it was eating bad, honestly, but like they was eating from their farms, from their gardens, from their areas. And it was healthy. It was bigger. It was stronger. It was faster. You know, so it's like you got it. And it was smarter. You know, there's more cognitive. But people were outside moving. People were in the gym. People, eat, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, granted, they was doing a lot of boogie woogie. There's a lot of coke going on back then. So people was, you know, this going to three o'clock in the morning. That's an exercise. I don't care what nobody say dancing is exercise. But what I'm getting at is that things are not the same. So supplement if you have to supplement. Don't starve yourself. Don't hurt yourself. If you're going to try something, do research on it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me see. Okay, this question might trigger some people. Do you believe sunlight causes skin cancer? I, I'll say this. Because I feel... Okay, let's, let's break this down. So, before we even get into that topic, people need to understand that cancer is a... Is a it's systemically acidic. So, it's a, high, it's a higher level of acidosis, right? So if you already have a whole bunch of floating metals within your body, well, molecular metals that pe most people do, you have a lot of aluminum from like toothpaste, deodorants and stuff like that, that you're not sourcing properly in the foods that you eat, people cooking with aluminum foil. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you have that in your body. The sun's going to cook that. The sun's basically going to cook all of that up and it's going to mess you up. So when that systemic level of acidity starts spreading and stuff like that, the sun typically cleanses us. The sun typically helps us detoxify and things of that nature. But if you're outside or if like you're in the sun, cause prime example, ever since I was a kid up until now, I've always spent at least six to eight hours, well, about six hours a day outside. Because if I'm not outside with my dogs, if I'm not out, like back then it was band camp, it was cross country, it was track and field, soccer, basketball, college, you know, doing stuff like that. Now it's like, I'm training my dogs, I'm walking, I'm working out, I'm training my clients. I'm just outside, you know, like I don't have that, you know, and then I, and I noted in the research I've done, most people don't have that, but it's the sunblock that we're putting on that has the chemicals that, cause people forget just cause we can't see it. We're porous creatures. Like all of our, we have pores everywhere. How do you think you sweat? Like dogs don't have sweat glands, but we do, you know, so it's like it's more so what's going in your body than, than what's coming out that's causing that. So to be to say that sunlight causes skin cancer, I would feel like it 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 pushes the body to a place to where it's trying to get it out rather than accumulating it. Because and especially for us, because we I mean, we're melanated creatures. We have uh, eukaryotic. No, what is it? We have prokaryotic cells and not eukaryotic cells. You know, well, we have majority because there's a lot of mixed races going on right now so we have more prokaryotic cells than eukaryotic cells inside of our body so sunlight hits us and act and actually activates a pheromone of vitamin d that goes throughout our body heals us and all that type of stuff but when you're not eating the right things of course you'll get it because you're just heating up medicine and chemicals and hot and like nasty blood that's all you're doing so like if you already acidic in nature and you're off the scale and then you go outside a lot you might run into that problem. Now, is everybody created equally? No. Is everybody genetic tendencies the same? No. Is Does everybody have that same amount of luck or nutritional understanding? No. But we all have to understand that the majority of these cases typically come from a, a severe state of acidosis. So regardless of what the sun is doing, what the moon is doing, what blah, blah, blah is doing 
cancer in general is an extreme state of uh, systemic acidosis and whatever particular part of the body that is just so happens to be in, you know, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say the sun is the source of it, but it can be a trigger to somebody who isn't balanced or who doesn't have the nutrients that they need. But that's a great question. It's a really good question. And once again, y'all, I think my uh, system thing is working. So if y'all want to go live with me or just talk and stuff like that, then, you know, we'll do that. Do you think gluten is bad for the lymphatic system? Of course, because gluten, I think about gluten as literal glue. So it's like, prime example, I stopped eating oatmeal for like a year or two because I couldn't find any out here that was, um, that was, uh, that was gluten free. And then and I'm the type of person just cause it say gluten free. I actually want to go look at it. I want to go look at it. I want to research. I do blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. So whenever I was researching and all that type of stuff, matter of fact, prime example, look to just so I know I'm not capping. I just finished some oatmeal not too long ago. And, um, and that's a, especially what I was doing like a few years ago to get, like get my stomach and my bulking up too. Like, I just love oatmeal, oatmeal with blueberries or bananas. I love, I love it. But you know, gluten is one of those things where it's, you got to think about it like literal glue. So let's imagine somebody, um, eating nacho. They have a, they have like a, a chip, like a crate. They eat chips every day. And, you know, especially back in high well, when I was back in high school and even in college, like chips and dips was a thing. Everybody got to get their chips and dips. You get their Tostitos and then they put the cheese in there or whatever. So you're mixing glue with glue. And so gluten is one of those things to where it's like it's a it's an extreme binder. So whenever you're eating those things religiously, it's it's bad for your lymphatic system because it clogs things. It takes forever to digest. It takes like prime example. We have can, y'all can't even see that, but I have a, a stomach chart up there. But essentially we have like. This is your stomach, right? Let's think about, let's think about me. I'm thinking about the body like this. Let's just keep this in mind. I'm thinking about the body like this. So imagine this is the stomach and well, no, this is the stomach and this is the transverse colon, right? So the, whatever you ate that has all that gluten is trying to be processed and pushed in and going into the ascending colon, right? Once it gets to the transverse colon, that's in front of the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas and the stomach, the digestive salts try to get in there. The digestive enzymes try to get in there. And whenever it starts to mix with all the, the gluten chemicals that's still in there, it's causing major problems. You see a lot of people with fibroid problems with that too. So now it's going through the transverse, having a hard time getting through. Now it's going through the descending colon and you're trying to pass it out. And if you notice people that have a high level of gluten in their diet, they their fecal matter is really sticky and they have some of the, 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 the hardest to clean fecal matter because it's it made like this gluey substance and honestly stuff. And excuse me if I'm getting too TMI, but this is just the truth. Y'all, um, you know, like a lot of that substance, it just, it just grabs and holds and stay wherever it has to stay. And it just festers in there, you know? So gluten to me is like avoid it as much as you can. If you can't, I'm, I feel bad for, you know, it's like, like try, try your best to omit it. But Gluten is just when I see gluten, I see glue. I, I see nothing else than the word glue because that's exactly what it is. It's an ultimate binder. Um, you say great answer, bro. Thank you so much. But it's so hard to not eat bread or wheat products, dude. Spelt, cam, uh, kamut, uh, uh, what's another one? Uh, organic rolled oats, dude. There's so many other things you can eat that's bread like, or you can make your own bread or find other alternatives that's not, that's not, that's not breads, white breads and stuff like that. You, you just, you just gotta open up your mind. Like this lady, I forgot her name, but I had got her her book, her cookbook, cause she's plant based. I did some research on, I did some research on uh how she cooks and stuff like that. I got her book a while back, and it has literally like every other like you have. Let me see if I can put it's it's probably on my computer. Hold up, but um. But yeah, any uh, any alternative or any type of any type of uh, bread or whatever you're eating, you're trying to get it like alleviated or moved and stuff like that. Like she does it. It's it's, it's amazing. It's crazy. And I'm opening up my books. It's not. It's in my phone, and I'm using my phone. God dog it. But yeah, I wish I, I was trying to give you some more options. But I don't. Eat, I don't really eat bread like that. So I, I don't. I can't think of any options off the top of my head like that. I never was one. Like I had one bad experience with, with bread whenever I was like eight. I want to say I was. I was extremely constipated. And like ever since then, I just kind of like, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good on that. This is great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. But yeah, bro, that's how that's how I feel about gluten. And and what and you know it's the crazy part. A lot of people are like, well, if we can't eat this and we can't eat that, blah, blah, blah. What can we eat? And I tell people, you're just not looking at you're just not look like just like we can go look at the newest shoes and the newest clothes and the newest cars or whatever your thing may be. It's literally as simple as getting on Google, getting a holistic book, getting whatever you can get your hands on and literally typing in alternative. Well, 
holistic alternative or healthy alternatives for bread. You know, and then like so many things pop up. And once you see those things, guess what? You don't don't just believe because I'm the type of person like just because it popped up. OK, that doesn't mean it's the right answer. Let me go research why. And then I, my following process would be, well, why is such and such better than such and such? What's the constituents of blah, 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 blah? How is this source and how is this made? And once you figure that out, life gets 10 times better. You know, like I follow y'all that don't know that's new here. Um, I used to have stomach problems real, real bad in college, like horrible. And I fixed it. It's been like almost 10 years. We in 2022 yeah next year makes 10 years i've been out of i've been since i got to college well since i when i first got to college so it's like you gotta you gotta just let the stuff go and find all i'm telling you there's crazy alternatives luckily for me i love fruits you know so i can eat fruits all day every day but you know you just gotta you gotta find what works for you that's another thing too not everything y'all see is for y'all like there's healthy alternatives but like that doesn't mean that your body's going to be receptive to it that doesn't mean that you're going you're going to actually like it so you have to make sure I don't know why I couldn't hear. What's I'm a, I'm gonna get to that. Um, but that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that it's for you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure that you're finding healthy alternatives for you. What works for you? What do you like? Because this may be the mango crew, and they love mangoes, and it's real healthy for you. And superfoods, you know, that's the word now. Superfoods and blah 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 blah. But you hate mangoes. Are you even allergic to mangoes? Well, guess what? Go find you a watermelon. You you might be a watermelon team or orange team or grapefruit team. It doesn't matter. Like. There's so many alternatives for what we're eating that's garbage. You know what I'm saying? So it's got to do do you due diligence. Uh, food is medicine. Yes, it is. Less process is the best. Yes, it is. Who is this? She's spitting. Who is this? Life of what? Life of leash. Shout out to you, girl. That's what I'm talking about. I love comments like that. People that know what they're talking about. I asked this a couple of days ago, but I couldn't hear. But what should I do for? Oh, the the uh, the, the pituitary thing that you had some of the people that for with hair. So what I would say is for one a lot it's all it's always an androgen problem it's always an estrogen problem so make sure that you're in a place of what you're consuming and things of that nature make sure it doesn't have a lot of hormones in it i often like i just say it you need to flush your lymphatic system once a month or at least four times a year go get my seven to ten day uh pdf de uh, detox go to coachbrian.com or click the link in my bio bio go get it you know, and like flush yourself out because all of that stuff, anytime you have a hormone imbalance that's causing this and causing that, you got to remember the thyroid gland, the pituitary gland and the endocrine system, they're all sister glands, sister glands, cousin, sister, however you want to think about it. And when they're not firing properly or they're not getting the nutrients that they need, they have problems. Prime example, my PCOS series that I did, I started talking about androgens. I'm talking about the cysts. I talk, started talking about the endometrium lining and what causes those things improper diet and proper hormonal balance. So that's when you start seeing all the things that happen, all the symptoms that happen with PCOS, the, the extreme abdominal pain, infertility, um, and crazy amounts of uh, 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 irregular periods. Like the list goes on and on and on. But when the hormones are off and I hate the stigma that they're putting on hormones these days, bro, hormones are not bad, but they need to be balanced. They need to be balanced. Like hormones are acidic in nature but once they're balanced and they're producing how they need to according to your body and your endocrinology in your body they build things molecularly they build the muscle they're in charge of the reproductive system they're in charge of your hair they're in charge of literally every single mo uh, molecule inside of your body so if you're not eating things that's going to get you where you need to be or you're not flushing yourself out and you're not taking the time to do that you're just creating a problem not saying that you are but i'm just speaking in general but what i would advise you to do detox your body at least once a month fast start fasting start getting get letting your body have a time to because that's another thing too the body if you're in a in a stagnated lymphatic place or like if you're not eating the best your body cannot process things properly the reason why people are always hungry and like they eat 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 but they can't use the where they're not using the bathroom every day like for every meal that you have you should have a bowel movement or when you do have your bowel movement at least once a day it should be equivalent the size of the fecal matter should be equivalent to what you were eating you know like you shouldn't be eating let's say you're eating a whole bunch of uh, rice beans and chick-fil-a and burger king and this that and the third and you, you're crapping out pebbles at the end of the day that's a that's a red red flag you know so like make sure i always tell people start with the gut 
cleanse out your system, get regular, and then surround yourself with even electric herbs if need be to balance your hormones. So like somebody that has that, I would tell them, go do my seven, 10 day detox. After that, get on some, mac, get on, especially if you're a woman, get on some red maca root and then start making sure you start your day off with a uh, celery juice, 16 to 32 ounces, even though I hate it. I cannot stand the taste of celery juice, but it does wonders for the liver. Make sure that you're taking milk thistle, dandelion root, a whole bunch of cold pressed fruit juices and stay away from them heavy red meats that's probably packed with with hormones anyway and steroids and stuff like that watch them and then that's another thing too medication do thorough research on your medication oh it does this and these are the side effects blah 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 go look at what that stuff is made up of and see how that affects your body don't just take it just because the doctor said to take it not saying that doctors are after us but it's like oh my doctor prescribed actopostopol whatever the word is because it always be some sixteen thousand syllable doggone medicine and it's like oh it helps me with this but and then the the list is just ridiculous so like just you have to flush you have to flush and neutral and not neutralize nourish yourself on a cellular level new habits new disciplines new consistencies new motivation whatever you need new 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 start doing it and then watch the change why are men getting ah hold up ah let me go back why are men getting weaker and weaker each year what's happening to our testosterone food bro the food we don't go out first of all and, and you gotta you gotta remember it's a mental spiritual and physical thing we could this is a very loaded question because mentally on social media they are they are oh lord i hope i don't get no trouble for this on social i'll just paint it to you this way on social media they have now turned or they're trying to turn true masculinity into toxic masculinity they're trying to coin that you know so like people like me who are are masculine you know i'm a man you know i i, I claim to be a, a, a man you know I, I hold on to that because that's who i am that's what i identify as and when you look up the actual definition of masculine man we are the protectors we're the providers you know we're the people that help others endure we're the builders you know we're the healers and stuff like well we aid to the women are really the healers but we aid to the healing process and the educational process we're the ones in charge of cultivation and things of that nature that's what masculinity is if you got somebody out here putting their hands on people and killing people and doing and dumb stuff that's not masculinity that's not that at all that is a that is a whatever mental illness they have going on or whatever imbalance they're going on that's that but i hate that they're trying to pull and coin these things and like change it to what is not you know and and because I, I, i'm here for everybody being represented don't get me wrong if whatever you identify as that's cool but don't come for my true identity you know don't come from the people that's actually trying to do well and active actually activating in the holistic pure processes of masculinity you can't take that from us we're not trying to take that from y'all so don't take that from us so that's one uh, mental social media, like, well, another part of social media, you see a lot of stuff with dudes being like dudes being bashed and blanks ain't blank. Cause I can, I don't know what I can say on here before they, they try to flag me and blank, 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 blank. You know, it's like, you got to watch what we're consuming because whatever you consume, even if, even though you're not reading it out loud, even though you're not making it your intentions to go and read it. If you're on social media scrolling all day, and men are the end, or men, women, no matter what, whatever, if such and such, whatever you identify with is getting degraded, is getting demeaned, and then you just not, you know, it's depressing to feel this type of way and blah, 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 that starts messing with you. So you're thinking like that and you have trillions of cells that listen to what you're saying and thinking. So they start operating in that way. And on top of that, we don't value core health like we used to anymore. So let's start talking about the physical process. Like people, people, think that only bodybuilders go should go to the gym no everybody should be outside everybody should be outside working out moving you ain't gotta be doing 100 push-ups and jogging 35,000 miles a day but you have to get at least 15 30 minutes uh, of physical activity a day look at the people in japan japan has the biggest life expectancy uh they live to like 130 something but it's mandatory their lifestyle is like purely outside and like pilates and like squats and stretching and meditation and stuff like that and i mean they're you know what i'm saying they're healthy they're doing what they have to do but when you break it down even further out here the food sourcing we don't grow our own foods anymore we don't hunt for our foods anymore and everything is processed everything is straight from a, a, a 18 wheeler and is not fresh anymore that's why i try to get my fruits as like local as possible when i'm not being lazy from fresh markets and stuff like that because like all of the stuff that we're eating and partaking in and, and consuming it has a lot to do with the reproduction of everything else within our body reasons why i said earlier about nutrients and all that stuff isn't the same because the soil and the sourcing isn't the, isn't the same but people aren't supplementing People have to, especially as, as men, when it comes down to testosterone and stuff like that, the reason why we're not walking around with half the, the genetic tendencies and the genetic 
fulfillments that we had and then see now i'm about to get into some other stuff i hope i don't get flagged for this and i'm only gonna watch i'm gonna watch so much of what i say because i don't want to lose my platform but like there's things going on with how they're even preparing these foods and fruits and stuff like that that are literally molecularly destroying our endocrine system there's a, I forgot his name. There's a guy that did an agricultural study on pesticides and he went to, he was doing it at Berkeley. He's a short black guy with, with a perm. He got like that, that smooth, I don't know if it's a perm, but he got that perm looking hair. And like for years he did studies on like how pesticides and herbicides are destroying the endocrine system of people based off of the foods that we eat. Reasons why I don't really like, I used to source my herbs from Arizona area and like all the areas that have the highest level of pesticides without me knowing, but I don't do that anymore. I like source and say, okay, well, who's the level is this? How, where's this source from where it came from? Okay, I don't, I'm not getting nerves from here. I'm not getting nerves from here. I'm not getting food from here. I'm not getting produce from here because all that stuff messes us up. And it's sad that we have to do it these days, but that's the world that we live in. And then on top of that, men aren't being built up. Like what? And I just men, people aren't being built up anymore. It's like there's so much demeaning and trashing rather than rebuilding and support to where us as a society, as a hive mind, it is dwindling. It is dwindling. So it's like you're a lot of that old earth, that old world is dissipating. And we're going to have to just be either the front runners or because my thing is like I should be who I am and who I identify as. And I shouldn't have to tell you. You should just see it and you should just let it be what it is. You know, I shouldn't have to fight to be well, I'm did blah, blah, blah. And like, no, this is what I choose to be, regardless of your approval or not. And your representation or not. Like, this is what I this is what I am. This is who I am. You know, so it's like sense of self individuality all those things are creativity all those different things are moving around these days and they're not what they used to be you know so the reason why you know testosterone levels are plummeting you know and, and then also too once you do further research i will say this it did go down but it is kind of pulsating back up but you got to also remember too we're living in one of the biggest mental um one of the ben biggest mental crisis eras ever in the world so if your mind isn't together your body can't produce because you gotta think about stress alone stress alone will mess up your system it'll mess up the production of your testosterone your estrogen your androgen uh all your vitamin mineralizations all your catabolic and anabolic responses all your beta and alpha receptor responses all your um metabolic responses like all of that stuff it'll get messed up you know so we living in a day where a lot of people are stressed so it's hard for your body to be productive and produce that testosterone and be rah 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 and all that type of stuff and you twist it in the head not in a bad way but you just need some relief mentally so it's a it's a lot of things bro it's a lot and like i said it's a loaded question it's a lot of things as to why testosterone is not what it used to be and even estrogen isn't what it used to be like the reason why we have like y'all think about it pcos is running rampant erectile dysfunction is running rampant that's why i'm that's why I, that's why i made my book that's exactly why I made my book. It's like, here's the holistic reason as to why. Let's make it make sense. Because a lot of people say, well, I have this and I don't really know why. Here's the definition, but I don't really know why. No, I made it make sense. And here's the herbs that help with that. You couple that with good eating, going outside, do what you have to do and purifying yourself. And granted, that's step one. It's just a, I try to make it as universal as possible because everybody's different. But like, things are just not what they used to be. The understandings is not what it used to be. The hive mind society is definitely not what it used to be. You know, and then so we're living in a place to where there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of things being worshipped and praised that shouldn't be and glorified that shouldn't be and that causes these type of things it causes this type of controversy and it causes this type of um lack of production of testosterone and you see the highest levels of viagra being taken right now the highest levels of uh, pills being taken and stuff right now well people at the end of the day you, like regardless of what production is doing and how your body is developing things of that nature whoever you decide to have sexual relations with they still want to be pleased they still want to be satisfied and there's only so much they can tolerate so what most men going to do they're going to go to the blue chews they're going to go to the viagra they're going to go to the honey packs they're going to do all of that because at the end of the day i'm a man and i gotta lay it down and blah 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 you know what i'm saying and it's like as they and, and i'm saying i'm not i'm saying as they should but that's what that's only what they know how to do once again we've been stripped away from our rites of passage from our ancestors and we don't know the proper way to help with erectile dysfunction and stuff like that and we don't really understand nutrition. We haven't been taught true nutrition from a child standpoint all the way up to now. So we think it's something else of when it's really everything I, I've literally talked about up until this point. And it's in my book. I ain't gonna pick that book way over there. I tossed that book. Is is in my book too. So go get that too. It's, it's in the link in my bio. But um, man, I'm telling you, bro, for every problem that we have on this earth, there's a herb for it. For every type of chronic illness that you have, there's a process for it. We just have to actually tap in. Uh that's how. I feel because I don't do, but I can't do bananas. If, you know, I have a, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you just got to find what works for you. I'm on my journey of learning as well. So love this. Most definitely. A lot of the starter books, not granted, I have hundreds of books I've read throughout the years. Jesus Christ. But, um, 
a lot of some good starter books that I would suggest for you go to my uh, Amazon storefront is in the link in my bio. I have uh, the herbal remedies book. I have the holistic medicine book, holistic diagnostic diagnostic book. And I forgot what other books I had put in there, but that's some of the books that I started reading like about five years ago um, that kind of started enhancing my canon and my catalog of pretty much everything I know now. But I would say this too. If you're going to dive into holistic studies, you have to study the anatomical structure because it's going to make 10 times more sense when you because I'm and I just me speaking from experience. I dove. I've been a science here since I was a kid. But when I really started diving into human anatomy and biology, when I and I went back and started reading my holistic books again, like it made 10 times more sense because, of course, this herb works like this. And of course, this disease happens like this when you understand how lactic and uric acid work, how the carbon constituents of the adrenal glands and the co- and the, uh, the cortisol levels work and how uh, how energy stored up and is not being used properly in the gallbladder and the removal of it. Like it starts making a lot more sense. So if you're going to study holistic medicine, couple that. With chem- honestly chemistry too, chemistry, biology, and anatomy. And granted, I've been doing this for seven years, so I know it sounds like a lot right now, but just take your time and do it. It's better to get an understanding of it and build your understanding now than to just try to piece the little the quick things together now and the and the little quick fixes and stuff now. And then like you don't really know what you're doing. It's like, well, I did this and it's supposed to work, but you don't really understand why it works. Like a lot of my clients, they're like, well, I heard such and such work and blah 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 blah, and I tell them, well, and then I start diving into their problems and stuff like that. And I'd be like, well, if you think about it like this, this is really why it's happening. She's like, well, you know what? My doctor did say this and I actually have been having this pain right here. Oh, and actually, yeah, this has been happening. But if you don't know how your body works, that's what happened. Pro- going back to the Japanese people and the Chinese people, reasons why their kids and their societies are light years ahead of us with education is because they prize those things. You start off with talent, skills and education like they, they're, they're bilingual by the time they're 10. You know, it's like they, they they study arts. They study real education. They get they go. They have actual like trade focused education. You know, they're not just figuring it out. It's like, OK, here's what you like to do. Here's what you're good at. OK, let's go do that. You know, and it's like, oh, we but here's the basis. You need to study the practical things in life. You know, so we just got to the reason why we're so blessed now is because we have google we have books you know we have amazon we have stuff we can go back and study like all of my most of my books cost no less than a hundred and some dollars because i like reading collegiate level books not only do the theories change every year so they update it but i get to go back and compare and these are the things that they're teaching the upcoming doctors the upcoming nurses the upcoming lawyers you know i'm staying on top of my uh my herbology uh medicine and stuff like that too like okay how are they treating this how are they reading this how are they teaching this you know and like you stay on top of that type of stuff it's gonna cost you but you're gonna gain that knowledge and once you gain that knowledge you can use that same thing with if you forget holistic medicine if you want to do music if you want to do business you want to be entrepreneur you want to do culinary arts whatever there's bro y'all go study go read Go read. I'm telling y'all, there's so much knowledge. And like, if I could show you my book collection, like I have a four terabyte external hard drive literally sitting right there plugged into my computer and the amount of books I have on that thing. Like I have a bookshelf up here. I got books literally all the way across down here. I got books over there. I got books over there. Like is read y'all just read, (laughs) just start reading. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the name of your book? The name of the name of my book is called coaches quick fix. You click the link in my bio or you can go to coachbrian.com. But honestly, if you just click the link in my bio, it's the first link. It's called you can get the book. It's like 80 pages of magic. Like, just go read it. I cover. Well, show you all the table of contents. Do, 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 do. Made it myself. Dun, 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 dun. So I talk about arthritis, diabetes, blood pressure, constipation, erectile dysfunction and impotence, low appetites, lymphatic protocols, pregnancy, raw food protocols, sickle cell, thyroid and pituitary gland function, allergies, PCOS, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic acne, and every single chapter. I don't know if y'all can see this. Every single chapter has, it'll start off like that and they'll go into like, well, what's the real cause of it? Let's make it make sense. And then after that, you go... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go into the herbs and not just the herbs, but how the herbs work. What do they target for this particular ailment and what they look like? Now, this is a hard copy. Oh, <laughs> this is the hard copy. This is the one I paid for and ordered myself. It was like one hundred and seventy some dollars. But I have my ebook on my link for just twenty five dollars. You know, so this is because this is technically like a real this is like years of I tried my best to just take the years of studying I've been doing 
and simplify it so people can just have a general understanding of it. I try to avoid using the big medical words and stuff like that because people don't people not. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. Most people are not going to read it and then understand it or they're not going to take the time to Google it. They don't do that. So what I'm going to do. Hey, here's how you here's how my sister can understand it. Here's how my grandmother can understand it. Here's the herbs. Here's how you should just that in the third blah, 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 blah. And then boom. And with the ebook, everything that's underlined has a link to it. So you click it. That's source herbs that I went and look up. You know, there's like I did all the work for you. So you can literally just enjoy the book thoroughly. So if y'all don't mind, go get the book. Uh, hit that follow button as well, but go get the book and then also give me feedback. Like a lot of people, I, I see, like I'm looking at the purchase, people getting the 10 day detox, the seven day uh, detox, they get in the book, they get in this, that, and the third. And I ask them a week later, can you give me results? Can you give me feedback? And then like, they'll show me, oh yeah, well, here's what I look like now. I lost like 20 pounds. I lost like blah, blah, blah. I'm like, but you didn't show me the process and why you didn't post this. Like, and I get it. Some people just not comfortable posting that type of stuff, but it's like, come on dog. Like, uh, I'm I'm credible. I know I'm credible. I know my work sticks works for me and it shows itself for me. But don't you just love when people tagging you spontaneously and like, oh, I went to do this and by this person and they were like, don't you just love that? That's what I love. So just show me some love. <laughs> uh, okay, deep dive into anatomy as well. I keep seeing lactic acid and ingredients. Yeah, ingredients. What kind of stuff you lactic acid? What kind of stuff you uh you eating like that? Are you you what are you shopping at? But yes, anatomy. You dive into anatomy. What's the What's the name of that book? Let me see if I could Google it. There's a there's a book. Hold up. There's a book that I read like six years ago. Uh no, that's not it. Where's that book at? You can go get human anatomy or, or anatomy so uh uh, physiology and go to introduction type in introduction to anatomy and physiology volume one uh and it should be like there's one cover that has like the red like a guy like a muscular system just like running with red behind them and they got one that's just like blue labeled or a blue label at the top and it's a white background and just like look start start there they're the cheaper books they're like 50 something dollars but like the deep dive is crazy like and or 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 um youtube you can go on youtube you go on google anatomy charts and blah 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 this, that and the third and then like but really take the time to study each group study each group some stuff you might not be able to recall back like that because it's a lot once you start studying it i'm not even gonna lie to you you going you might have a headache if you're somebody like me that just loves to read it might be different i could read a whole book in one day and retain it that's just i have really good photographic memory but like most people would get halfway through it and like okay that's a lot you know like and it is a lot so just take your time reading it and actually enjoy it make it fun she said, okay, well, deep dive into them as well. See, I already, already. Maybe it's not lactic acidosis. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know what you're talking about, but like if you got foods that's high in lactic acid, we got, we got to figure something out. <laughs> I don't know what you're shopping at. I don't know what's going on, ma. But that's, that's kind of dangerous. I don't know what you're shopping at, but you know, I don't really want to shop that. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that's, that's, it doesn't, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Like they, it's, they say it, but it's true. It's like, if you want to if you want to keep true wealth and knowledge or secrets from somebody, put it in a book. And it's true because most people don't take the time to read. You know what we do all day? We're scrolling, scrolling, Amazon, Amazon, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We're just scrolling, you know, so Facebook, you know, so it's like you just got to get into these books, y'all. Get into the books. I know I sound like a nerd, but get into these books. Can toxins in our body cause major? Definitely definitely the question said because i know when i'm gonna upload this on youtube they're not gonna see what i just said can toxins in our body cause major anxiety definitely definitely that's one of the reasons why a lot of the mental problems that people have these days is due to horrible livers the livers can't process half the 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 micro toxins and the micro metals and stuff and that gets into your blood system and then that in the you have a cardiovascular system literally from head to toe so those toxins are within the blood and it's all over and there's some some places they stick some places they don't some places they stagnate the neurological system some places they stagnate is that in the third so you, you're not getting the serotonin and melatonin releases like you should you're not getting the dopamine releases that you should you know and then on top of that a lot of people have very bad recreational habits i'm not going to name anything in particular because i don't want to shame nobody i want you to feel bad but i just just know that like if you have a lot of toxins in your body it's probably why you got some problems i'm not saying life ain't happening i'm not saying life ain't lifing because life be smacking look bills alone is enough to drive anybody crazy you know but like let's just be honest we not we don't have the best diets you know so it's like 
if you have all these toxins, like reason why I say study anatomy, like if we understand how the cardiovascular and lymphatic system are literally parallel, we have like lymphatic trunks and nodules within our body, along with our cardiovascular system. Those two systems alone, the moment they get compromised, every other problem you can think of starts happening. Every other problem, you know, so it's like we have to purify. We have to take the time to understand how these things move up and down and around and all that type of stuff. The more you do that, the more you make it make sense. And that's another thing too. make it make sense for you. It doesn't have to make sense to everybody else. Like if you're if you're taking the time to study anatomy and holistic medicine and stuff like that, make it make sense to you, because the way I think about the liver or something else, you may not think about it that way. We may have a very synonymous type of ideology on it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're thinking about it the same way. You know, so you have to make sure you're taking the time to really form a conceptualization of what it means to you while staying in its truth. Of course, like you have to stay to the truth of what it is, but like make it make sense to you. That's high key. The reason why I lasted so long throughout high school and college, because I hate school. <laughs> like I would much rather read my own books, go do my own videos and find out for myself than to be in a classroom like this. Like, oh, God, I hate school. But, you know, just make it make sense to you. Make it fun to you. If you don't like reading it, find something else that's similar and that's fun for you to read. or It makes more sense. And then watch how you start to absorb it on a different level. You have to just be and that's nothing too discipline. Discipline kicks in when motivation and consistency is starting to fail. Well, not even consistent when motivation is starting to fail because if you're disciplined, the consistency is going to stay there. And discipline can look like a, a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but it is what it is. You know, you have to make sure that you're diving in and making it good and fun for you so you can do it. Because if I wasn't having fun teaching y'all this and learning this and busting my behind reading 10,000 books a day, then guess what? I wouldn't be doing it. I'm not going to subject myself to something that's not going to make me happy. That's not going to add anything to my life. People and things come, people, places, and things come into your life to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So you got to make sure you're utilizing whatever that situation is for you. You're utilizing it because if not, you're wasting time. You are wasting time. Like I said, what that was last Thursday, Wednesday, when we did our last episode, like you are the youngest you will ever be right now for the rest of your life. You are in your, your prime right now of youth. Like this is you're a baby right now compared to you 40 years from now, you know, so it is what it is. Thank you. I'm a hairdresser and develop major anxiety out of nowhere. Lots of toxin exposure. And that too, that too. A lot of them like you got to think about it. You constantly dealing with like you dealing with like gels and stuff like that and, and inhaling certain type of things, too. If you're not flushing yourself out. If you're not eating right, you're not giving yourself a fighting chance, especially like a lot of hairdressers. Obviously, y'all using your hands a lot. Y'all get a lot of uh, arthritis. But even like I said in my book, it's not even really that y'all using your hands so much. That's really giving you arthritis and causing a problem is the crystallized waste that's being stored in there on a molecular level. And it's not being moved around. I'm not saying y'all don't have any type of muscle fatigue or cartilage damage or nothing like that. But what's speeding it up and making it worse is the toxins within the body that have yet to move. And once you move those and get those out the system, then nine times out of 10, all of that stuff goes away or it alleviates itself. You know, and if you're a hairdresser too, make sure you're doing these. Pull that, pull that forearm back, you know, pull them fingers back and stretch all that forearm right there. Make sure you're stretching out your body like in between and not even just one time before and after a client. Stretch them joints out. Move your wrists around like start doing a lot of shoulder work. You know, if you got to start putting peppermint all on your uh, wrists and stuff like that, just to keep the circulation fire. Do that. If you got to start putting hot towels in between. I don't care. Oh, you do. That's for old people. Girl. You're getting old. Mind your business. I'm, I'm trying to have longevity. You know, they, they like to, I hate when people do that. Oh, well, that's for old people and blah, 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 blah. And they living and it's working. So if I do it before the problems come, then guess what? I'm probably not going to have the problems. I hope I caught you at a good time too. I'm telling you all of this. I hope I caught you at a good time before those things set, set in, you know, but take the time to hydrate yourself, especially if you're standing up at your job all day, or even if you're sitting down doing the hairdresser, doing hairdresser work and stuff like that. Like when you're at work, keep cold pressed fruit juice by you. Stay a lot of orange juice, a lot of what well, any 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 fruit juice. I'm, I'm not even going to limit you to, to to any particular fruit. Just sip on that throughout the day, to where while you're working, your body's already fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like you got you got the the nutrients going through your body, so it's already targeting those things. And when you use the bathroom, all of the waste is coming out. When you use the bathroom, all of the toxins are coming out. You know, it's like eat better, do better, and then alleviate and pamper yourself. Like if it's in your insurance or whatever, or if you can afford it, at least once a month. 
get you get you a masseuse even if they're not focusing on nothing else like make sure that you're taking care of all of this that's your bread and butter right are your hands insured make sure you get insurance on your hand we have to do it like as musicians we do that like because and surgeons even like doctors surgeons they have that something happens to their hands where they can't work no more i can't make money no more i didn't spend all these years in school to be a surgeon that and the third and then law forbid i get in a car accident and then not my my hands are crippled i can't even hold scapulas anymore well how can i provide for my family there's insurance for that. Look into that, you know, so make sure that you're giving yourself don't stop neglecting yourself. Like make sure that you're giving yourself, you, got, you have to pamper yourself, alleviate yourself, eat right, do right by your body to where whenever those latter years come along and you've been doing this for 20, 30 plus years in the game, when your colleagues are dissipating, oh, I can't do it. It's hard on my body. You go, God, I still feel like I'm 17. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't took the time to do what you got to do. So informational. I neglected myself for a job for so long. Hey, I was in the same boat. I didn't quit. I quit my nine to five. I want to say about four, three and a half, four years ago. I want to say, and I ain't going back. I'm not going back. It, it, it's like you, you were literally for the, for the, not even the love of money for the love of surviving and trying to have a comfortable life. You will go balls to the wall to make sure that you're taken care of. And that's nobody's fault because that's just the capitalistic, the capitalism that we live in. But in that same breath, you don't have to be no slave. Do what you can. Do what you must. And then also find time to reprioritize the th the little things. I'm very frugal. I like to save money. I don't need the newest this and the latest that and the this, that, and the third. Do we have food to eat close to where better sleep in the house to stay in? Everything else is luxury. No matter how you want to look at it. Even though we have a way of life and this, that, and the third, everything else is a luxury. It's extra. Put your money where it needs to go and put you first. Put your health first. Put your Put your comfort first. And then you worry about everything else. You'll be surprised how much money we, we wasting out here. So, yep, I'm a musician about to look into insurance. Do that. Do that. Robert Glass, but he's one of the coldest piano players in the world. Corey Henry. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure they have insurance on their hands. Not drinking enough water. I feel like I'm still trying to hydrate from slaving. Yes. Yeah, that part. Water and fruit juice. That's like, like I said before. Water and fruit juice. Hydrate yourself on a cellular level. Fruit juice will do that. Watermelon juice, especially. Crazy amounts of nitric oxide. Play crazy amounts of uh i believe it's arginine crazy crazy amounts of uh, uh nutritional value on the cellular level you start drinking that every day you'll be good and drink fruits that's in season like the organic stuff you'll be good i promise you you'll be good we just have to start taking care of our bodies the moment we stop taking care of the moment we stop caring the moment we stop we stop caring that's it yeah i play with robert that's what's up you play hold up who is this talking about you play with some robert glass but that's one of my favorite musicians who you the who let me see. Hold on. First of all, let me hit that follow button. Yeah, I'm going to have to go check out your page. I'm going to have to check out your page. I'm talking about you play a Robert Glass for that. Let me tell you something. That's, the, that's one of the goats. That's one of the goats for real. You talk about what you play. You say bass. You play bass. That's what's up. I'm going to follow. We're going to have, have a discussion. I just followed you. We're going to have a discussion. I definitely feel more hydrated when I drink watermelon juice. Definitely. Eat it, drink it. However, like make sure you're hydrating yourself. Also, y'all follow new people up in that. That's up in here, y'all. My name's Coach Brian. I'm a holistic uh, trainer, holistic coach, holistic, holistic counsel. So you could just hit the follow button, message me, do whatever. Just come along for the ride. <laughs> as long as this is what I do. Um, I'm a bassist too, by the way. You say you're a musician. I'm a musician. I'm, all of this is sitting on a piano. I got. Well, I can show you. I have my upright up over there. I have like a whole bunch of guitars. I got a. Uh, I got a jazz bass. I have a fretless jag i have um i have a strat i have two acoustic guitars and my six string is in my car i need to actually get that out of my car and go practice after this um but that's what's up bro we need we have to talk that's what i do outside of holistic stuff i do music and entrepreneur type stuff but really you know uh what i was about to say yeah that's why whenever you say you play with robert glass i was like hold up what you mean you play with him like, hold up <laughs> but yeah this is the portion y'all um for all the new people like I said before, if you've done this already, you don't have to do it. If you want to do it again, that's fine. Tap the screen until this meter fills up. That helps me with the algorithm, pushes me further so everybody else could learn about this. Any other episodes that y'all want to see that y'all missed out on. And also, I don't delete stuff off my YouTube. Ideology that I used to believe in and like my growth being younger coming up until now, all that's still on my YouTube. Find me at Coach Brian. Um, I definitely don't hide stuff like I want people to see that I'm a human. I want people to see that like I grow, you know, and that's been thin. There's been times where I've been wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to show I like I just like transparency. So y'all go through any other uh, podcasts that y'all miss. 
Y'all can go check that out. But this is the last few minutes of it because I'm noticing the questions are starting to end. Um, this is the last few minutes of the podcast. Any other questions y'all have or anybody wants to go live with me, you can do so. Hit the little, I think, I believe it's down here for y'all. Y'all hit this little thing or it's one of these two. And you can request to come live with me, have a discussion, whatever, or it doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, y'all ask questions. But if not, if it gets slow, slower, I'm hitting up on out here because I could go eat. I go eat me some food because I got some blueberries in the fridge that's calling my Love me some blueberries. You're welcome, love. And shout out to you for coming up in here with the wisdom, too. You came up in here and you was just like the first few comments you made. I was like, all right, <laughs> she understands. She get the picture. She definitely get the picture. But while the questions are coming, um, I'm grateful, y'all. Uh, let me I, I guess I'll say that I'm, I'm real. I'm in a place of being stretched right now. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like I feel like God really stretching me and I'm learning. I feel like like what it was like last year, last November, around this time, last November, I want to say like I felt like I was being crazily stretched, like financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, all of that. And I feel like I'm back in that space right now, but like for the betterment, you know, I feel like I'm about to be catapulted into whatever's next for me. That's going to be dope. Whatever's going to be beneficial for me and my family. That's dope. But Excuse me. I feel like I'm going to I feel like I'm in a stretching right now to grow because things are changing. Like people have been dropping left and right. You know, I had to let a few people go that I didn't really want to let go, you know, and like life is just life in right now. So it's like I'm in a place to where every prayer I get is appreciative, you know, like every blessing I get is appreciative. Every bit of knowledge and opportunity and favor that I get, I'm appreciative. And I'm literally waking up and thanking God every morning and every night before I go to bed because I I know what I want. Like I just, I just redid, I just redid my vision board for the next six months of the um of the year. And excuse my hand right now, I'm left hand. Don't judge me. But like, I know what I want to manifest by the end of this year. What in the next two months, honestly, you know. So if you are in that place right now, or if you're if you're if you're in that place right now and you don't know what to do. You feel hopeless. You feel like you're about to stretch. What's going on, my love? You feel like you're being stretched. You feel like you're you don't know where what's going to come from next. You need to take the time to write your visions down, make them plain, but make them specific. Not even plain, just make them specific. You know, write your vision down, make it specific, and actually let it manifest. Actually write it down. Actually speak it out loud. Actually think about it and pray on it. You know, like take the time to focus on these things because your thoughts are real. You're just because we can't feel our thoughts like we could feel our throat moving when we talk doesn't mean that it's not a tangible action. When you start really focusing your minds on the things that you want, regardless of all the hell and high water that you're going through and the stretching that you're going through, things will happen. Like it hit me the other day. I was sitting down talking with Amber. We was talking about the old, the other, um, the other manifestation board that I had and the vision board that I had. And I was like, dang, I was like, most of that stuff didn't came to pass. And I wasn't even thinking about it. Like I kind of like said it and forget it in a sense because I was focused on the other stuff. So it's like, it's going to happen regardless, but you have to set your intentions on it and put that energy and that spirit into it and, and breathe that life into it. Because if you don't, it's not going to happen, you know? So like, make sure that you're prepared and then watch what you're wishing for too. Don't be surprised if you start asking for increase and you start asking for more patience, more understanding and wisdom. And then you're in a season of understanding or you're in a season of losing friends or you're in a season of trying to figure out your health or what you're trying, you know, trying to boss up and stuff like that. You get you reap what you sow and you get what you ask for. You have not because you ask not. So take the time to really know what you want to manifest the things, focus on those things and make life easier for you. Because you are not meant, you, none of us were born to just pay bills and die. That is not, that is not the way of life. That is not what we are supposed to be doing. We're supposed to come here, flourish, help each other out, help ourselves out, you know, live a long, plentiful, happy life. So when you close your eyes, you're like, ooh, I did that. Like, man, okay, let me rest. You know what I'm saying? Let me go to my next whatever. So I implore you guys as I wrap this thing up, because I'm not seeing too many questions, love. Um, as I wrap this thing out, I want you guys to lead with love. Like I say all the time, lead with love and lead with light and make sure that you're leading with intention because if you don't put intention or you're not intentional about the things that's going on around you that you're dealing with, who you're entertaining, what you're entertaining. That's, that's, uh, that's real big right now. Like make sure that you're watching who and what you entertain, because some of y'all may like be like, may be like me. You can be a sponge, you know, like, like if you're really interested in something and you really want to get it and understand it, it's not hard for you to consume it and retain it. But just because we're passionate about it 
and we want to doesn't mean that the sources are who we're dealing with is the right thing to get it from. So be mindful, pray for discernment, pray for pray for things that's going to make that that's going to put you in a mindset to be focused, to be vigilant and to make sure that you're transparent and focused throughout it all and protected. Because at the end of the day, who wants to take three steps forward and five steps back? It's defeating the purpose, you know, but ultimately lead with love and lead with light. And y'all got y'all got this. She said, um, left. Oh, you another lefty. So what's happening? I see you. People have been telling me to write things down for five years and I haven't taken it seriously. Why not? Why not? Just try. It. That's another thing, too, y'all. Just try it. Like, just do it. Now, granted, if it's something that's going to compromise your health, spirituality, all that type of stuff, don't do it. Don't be crazy. But like, just try it. Oh, I wrote this down and it manifested. Oh, I, I did this and it manifested. Like, try it. You know, just make sure you, like I said before, pray for that discernment. And if it don't sit right with your spirit and your gut, then don't do it. But like, you know, do it like that. Oh, what's going on? See ya. More see us in the building. Louisiana Creole. Y'all, I, I miss my crew. We used to have Taco Tuesdays. Everybody got engaged and married and move around and people in other states and stuff like that. But it's like, it's tis life. Tis life. Dang, Marcy, you caught me at the end of the podcast. This is like, I literally been on here since like 310, 315. Well, I know you're not married. I'm talking about other people too. I'm talking about some other people. But, um, dang, you caught me at the, like literally at the tail end. Um, loser, no text. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hit y'all up. But, um, yeah, man, I'm gonna get going because I'm now I'm hungry and I'm thinking about food. Uh, what I was about to say, I should be going, I want to say tomorrow, today's Monday, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, because I'm gonna be leaving town soon. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm probably going at around like 3 15, I'm at 3 15 Central Standard Time. I should be going live again i'll say that i don't want to make any promises because i remember last week i was like yeah i'm doing this that in the third five days i only did three days because life got busy but i know for sure tomorrow and wednesday i should be able to go live around the same time so if y'all tuned in 3 15 central standard time uh i'm gonna be going live we're gonna have another holistic talk and for all y'all that missed today's episode it should be up if not tonight by tomorrow I will have it. This is episode. This is technically episode 12. Ooh, it's episode 12. So I'll have this up to, uh, tonight or tomorrow. And y'all can go back and watch all of the episodes too. But I love y'all. Y'all have a good one. Hit that follow button. Go to coachbrian.com or hit the link in my bio and get something. Support my black owned business because I, I just want y'all to. But yeah, y'all have a good one. <laughs>